5 News at 5. I'm Erica Thomas. And I'm Darren Bob. It is day two of this week's Arkansas legislative special legislative session. Tonight, lawmakers are making progress. This morning, lawmakers in the House and Senate approved bills that focus on tax cuts and improving school safety. Ian Russell with our Little Rock Station has a recap of day two. Day two of the special session and bills are speeding along on their journey to the governor's desk. That's fast, wasn't it? A heavily discussed tax cut bill with a version going through both the House and the Senate was discussed in committees today after being voted out of its respective chamber. We're just trying to make the quality of life as good as we can for the state of Arkansas and the hardworking citizens of Arkansas. State Rep Joe Jett is the sponsor of the House version of that tax cut bill. There's a couple things that will happen if his is approved. Individuals would receive a $150 tax credit and married couples $300. The agricultural industry would also be able to expense over a million dollars on farm equipment. On the Senate side, Senator Jonathan Dismang says this immediately benefits Arkansans if passed. It's established that $150 credit for taxpayers here in the state of Arkansas. One important thing to keep in mind, that's going to eliminate income taxes for about 95,000 Arkansans. I'm proud that we're able to do that. The average Arkansan would save hundreds of dollars if this bill passes. According to a breakdown from State Representative Jett, the state's individual medium income is around 26 Six and a half thousand dollars. These changes, if approved, would drop their tax rate and save them around three hundred and sixty five dollars each year and would start as soon as the governor signs it. Remember, though, this isn't the only bill being discussed. And we all want to make sure that this is a priority that our children are kept safe and that and if we have the money to spend, then we should spend it. Senator Missy Irvin is the sponsor for the school safety funding bill. That bill was also passed out of the Senate today. One thing not talked about on the floor has been teacher pay, though. Democrats held a press conference this afternoon in hopes of extending the session to talk about the topic. In a statement, Senator Clark Tucker says, quote, we can also provide real support to teacher and support staff, the profession that is the foundation for the future of our state, and we can do it now in a real time of need. That statement goes on to say, we're not leaving until we do right by educators. I move that we adjourn until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. All in favor say aye. aye. In Little Rock, Ian Russell, 5 News. If all goes as planned, lawmakers could wrap everything tomorrow afternoon with everything on the governor's desk by the end of this week.